Hey everyone, it's Cole from A Plus Power Sports, and today we're going to check out the brand new 2024 Morant Edition Trails West trailer. So this is a 34 foot Trails West gooseneck trailer. This one comes in right about almost $60,000. So let's check out what we have for that price tag. The trailer is optioned as an all black. So we have all black on the side panels, black roof, and then the black trim panels going down the side on the diamond plate. Being a Barant edition, we're going to come with a front door on it. So this front ramp door is really nice for easy unloading. And the guys that don't need it, like the boondock package, there is always the option of that one. But the Barant series, you're getting a whole bunch of other things inside that we're going to go over, but the ramp door is a big feature. Underneath the front gooseneck, we have our loading light, which is a toggle switch on the side, so we can easily see at night when we're hooking up to the trailer. Um, our front storage cabinet here drops down. Spare tire stays neatly underneath here. We have two LP tanks to run our heating system on it. Um, there's two deep cycle batteries, and this one does have a 110 plug-in for it, so you can plug it in uh, to your barn or your garage and able to charge the batteries when you're not using it. Behind this rear cover, there's a toggle switch that runs your jack. This one's equipped with a single hydraulic ram on it. Inside of our first cabinet here, this is a large cabinet, opens up with a hydraulic shock. It has hooks for your helmets, so your helmets will go on there, and there is a heated vent that goes here so we can dry off our helmets once they're wet after the day. With two furnaces on board, we're able to have a dual climate control. So the front one here is controlling our front heater, and it's all on a little turn dial. So we turn that, we can go up to six hours, and it'll time out and shut the heater down um, so we're not using all of our LP. So up on the neck of the trailer, we're able to have tons of storage room for all of our gear when we're traveling. But when we're not traveling, we're able to sit up here, throw different things and just be able to get ready. But having a stereo system, it's AM, FM, and Bluetooth, so connect it right to your phone. And there are four different Kicker speakers going on inside the trailer and a 12-inch subwoofer from Kicker up in the front. This black box up here is a Rover a solar panel system, so this one's pushing about 100 watts. Um, the solar panels are mounted up to the roof. That just allows you to be disconnected and remote um, and not have to worry about charging the trailer's batteries. Above the radio here, we have tons of USB ports. We can charge our phones, communicators, um, BAC equipment, and it can all be neatly tucked in here if we don't want it sliding around. We're in the driver's side rear of the trailer right now. Um, again, tons of charging USB ports for our BAC, different avalanche gear, or just communicators but also storage units up here for our oil and tools and carbides, um, anything else that you really need. So, um, some more hangers in the back. Coming in from the side RV door, we have our inside and outside um, switches, which are easy to access. Comes with a broom right from Trails West. And then this is our rear fuel door. So open this up, it's lockable. Send the fuel hose through and you can gas up the sleds without taking them out of the trailer. Now on the passenger, right-hand side rear of the trailer, we have our emergency exit window. This does have a slider on it, so when the sleds are running inside, all that exhaust fumes can be sucked out of there. This is where our secondary climate control comes from. It's in the rear of the trailer, so it can regulate a even temperature throughout the trailer. Bungee straps can easily hook on here, so you can tie different things down for it. LED lights down along the bottom. And then this is a um, like garage shop holder, so put our shop towels in it, break clean, different cans um, in there and then there is some more storage up on the top. Our second furnace is located right here on the right hand side of the trailer. Now you have vents here and this one is running all of our in-floor heat uh, which I'll show you guys in a second. A bench over here so when we're getting ready in the morning getting our boots on and stuff we can easily just pick them up and drop them down. Um, different angles on it but you can shut it all the way. We have our second cabinet over here. It's a double decker so we have tons of storage room and of course a cup holder. On the floor of our Trails West, um, we can see we have grip glides down the center so our skis and carbides can easily glide down uh, the center of the trailer. Uh, we have D-rings mounted, there's six of them over there, and then the noodle flooring. So this black flooring is actually uh, like a hybrid poly kind of material to it. It allows you to still have grip so when you're walking around with snow and icy boots on it's not slippery, um, but it's not going to allow the track and the carbides if it did pop off the track to rip it up as easily as just bare bones would. So you'll notice all the holes that are drilled uh, down the center of the trailer here um, where the sleds will sit. These are actually allowing heat to rise. There's a channel or a gutter, you could call it, down the center of it um, that's going to let heat come up through the floor onto our track and de-ice all of our track and skis um, when the heaters are on. And then once the water drains down into them, the gutter pushes all the water to the back of the trailer. There's two drain plugs that you can unplug and all the water comes out. Now with four windows on this trailer, we're able to get all of our exhaust fumes out of it in the morning, but these vent fans up top really make a big difference. So open them up just like RV style, 
Uh, same deal on the front one. Twist our lever, and then you just turn the fan on. You can suck air in uh, to get fresh air for ventilation, or you can actually have the fan work backwards to suck all of our exhaust fumes out. So looking at the rear of the Trails West trailer, this one was optioned with two drop legs on each side. This is gonna allow us to drop those down if the truck's not connected to the trailer. Um, we don't have to worry about loading machines up and tipping the trailer. Or if we have really heavy vehicles we're bringing in here, we can put those down and there's not so much stress on the trailer and the truck at the same time. Um, loading lights on a toggle switch, those are 12 volt um, direct power, so we'll always have loading lights. What Trails West does with the springs on the door, there's no garage door style ramp spring up there with cables coming down um, that interfere with our skis when we're loading the trailers like most um, enclosed trailers run. Trails West has a cool setup down here with massive springs that make it really easy to drop and pick up the door. So I'll pull down on it here and slowly let it walk and you're going to see that it catches right there on the spring and I'm essentially not pulling down at all. Once it comes all the way down, again, we have our uh, grip glide, so it's not slippery for us when we have ice and snow on our boots. We have the runners in the center for our tracks to easily climb the trailer. And then there's even these little kickers right here, so we're not ripping up the edge of our trailer door with the carbides. But you can see there's no cables coming down, so we're not losing garage height on the top here like some of the other trailers do. And we definitely don't have any runners coming down, so we can use this full door uh, to run sleds up. We don't have to worry about getting tangled in a cable. All right, that's a look at the brand new 2024 Chris Barant Edition Trails West 34 foot gooseneck. If you want to see what other trailers I have in stock, check out aplusride.com. I have tons of Trails West coming in this season. Um, these are just one of the first batch to get here. But if you like this video, hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the section below. And as always, thanks for watching.